ओके ठीक गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडे फिलेटेली लेक्चर सीरीज इवेंट सिक्स विच इज ऑर्गनाइज जॉइंटली बाय महाराष्ट्र वृक्ष संवर्धिनी पुणे जुओलॉजी असोसिएशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुओलॉजी सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे युनिवर्सिटी पुणे एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुओलॉजी मॉडर्न कॉलेज गणेश खिंड पुणे इट इज माय ऑनर टू इंट्रोड्यूस टुडे गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर संदीप श्रोत्री डॉक्टर संदीप श्रोत्री डेड इज एम एस इन नाइनटीन फर्स्ट इन शिवाजी युनिवर्सिटी नेक्स्ट इयर ही ओनली इमिजिएटली स्टार्टेड हिज दीप काशी हॉस्पिटल a multi speciality center in satara where later he started endoscopy as well as laparoscopic center also he is a member of many medical social activities some of them are founder secretary satara surgical society satara founder secretary association of hospital owners satara life member of society of gastrointestinal endoscopist of india he has conducted free surgical camps at hemalakasa for lok biradari prakalp of dr prakash amte and also search shodagram a project of dr abhay bang and dr ani bang he is a visiting surgeon and gastroscopist at chaitanya rugnalaya gondavle where he conducts free endoscopies once in every month he has hobbies like trekking in sahyadris and himalayas wildlife exploration and bird watching for which he has travel all over india nepal kenya New Zealand, Peru, Galapagos Islands, astronomy and sky gazing, collecting stamps has been his hobby for nearly four decades. He has collected more than ten thousand stamps on birds, about four hundred on butterflies, three hundred on plants, and other stamps about five thousand. He has more than fifteen thousand different matchbox labels also. He has received many awards. Some of them are. वसुंधरा पर्यावरण पुरस्कार इन 2013, किर्लोस्कर वसुंधरा सम्मान पुरस्कार इन 2014, दक्षिण मराठी साहित्य पुरस्कार इन 2014, मुंबई मराठी प्रवासी पुरस्कार इन 2016, कोयना निसर्ग मित्र पुरस्कार इन 2016 एंड गिरी मित्र पुरस्कार इन 2018. He has written extensively on nature, tourism and environment in newspapers and magazines. Published eleven books. some of them are everest ya paithashi a marathi book of the trek to everest base camp kas plateau of flowers that is a book on kas sad annapurna chi that is about mount annapurna trek durga maharashtra til that is about force of maharashtra kaswatse bet that is about galapagos islands manusya arendya that is about peruvian amazon rain forest inka chi devadari that is about inka culture and machu picchu Peru, and recently he has published one book that is Rasa May Peru. I am sure that you, you all are eager to hear Dr. Sandeep Shrotri. So, with this short introduction, now I request Dr. Shrotri to deliver his talk. Dr. Shrotri. Good evening. Uh, at the outset, I must say thanks to the organizers, especially Dr. Ajit Vartak, and must pay homage to. Late Doctor Gita Vartha. Uh, in my lifetime, I think it's first time I was introduced three times, uh, and <laughs> I think I shall start and I will come to the point immediately. Uh, today's my topic is uh, birds on stamp. We will uh, go through the birds on stamp of my, especially my collection of also and some uh, ornithological uh, facts also. So I will I will start sharing. Uh, am I audible to everybody? Yes, yes, sir. And uh, the screen is visible to everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So shall I start uh, my yes, screen? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think sir, you can have full screen. Full screen. Full huh. screen. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Sir. I am general surgeon and gastroenterologist based at Satara in near Pune, uh, in Maharashtra, and and practicing for last 31 32 years uh, i am i started uh, getting uh, collecting stamps since last 40 plus years so coming to the point that what travels around the world but stays in one corner that is postage stamp one must respect the stamp post especially during this courier days 
So enjoy the romance with colorful flying jewels over the planet Earth with me. <clears throat> I will introduce, uh, I have taken a three, four minute video. We'll listen to it. Sir, sir, you are not audible. No, it is not. I am not audible. No, 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 sir. Okay. Just I will repeat what I am saying. Huh. That I am going to show you. I am going to show you the birds on stamps. I am not at all a philatelist or a serious ornithologist. I am a surgeon, just I told you. So not, not audible. Huh? Yeah. I am I am going to show you the my collection, a glimpses of my collection especially the birds on the stamps, what is today's topic. Uh, this is a very small, small, few square inches uh, paper of uh, paper, which takes us to the world of uh, different topics or different uh, kind of uh, world. <clears throat> Through the stamps, one can explore many things through the collection of the stamps, especially first day covers, information sheets, like this. See this beautiful small windows, small papers with a colorful magical uh, birds. I started getting collection of the birds, especially after found, when I founded the Ranwata uh, Nature and Environment Conservation Society in 2000. And I used to collect these birds and I used to present these birds to the school programs which were uh, arranged uh, during the schools around Satara, especially when we had a, a movement of save caste, the plateau of flowers near Satara. So I will just <clears throat> show you the... There are so many themes among the ornithology also on the stamps. Like this, like ornithologists, some few of the world renowned ornithologists, they are already on the stamps on the first day covers with their signature. Few of the life cycles of the birds on the stamps. We are the national birds which are already on the stamps. <clears throat> I just put all, almost a uh, few of the stamps over this floor of my home and information sheets are there. Migration of the birds is already on the stamps. Now I will come to the point that a small stamp tells us a big word. About what? About the society, about the religion, country, economy, 
culture of the society, development uh, projects in the nation, various history points of view. There are stamps showing many, many things. They are representative of the many of the projects in the uh, <coughs> world, especially in nature, conservation of the animals, insects, birds, their life cycles, and endless stories and endless enlightenments. Philately, regarding philately, you are already aware that Stamps collection is called as philately, and it is the king of the hobbies. Philately, on the very when it started, it started when on the very same day of printing of first stamp. When the first stamp was printed, it was printed in on first May 1840 in the Great Britain. That is, of course, their queen stamp, black penny. It is called, I think. Uh, second record is from Brazil. It is in 1843. The first stamp from Brazil came uh, was released. In the United States, 1847, the first stamp was released. It is not the bird stamps, but it is on the general stamp. The study of the postage stamps and postal history is called as philatelic. It also refers to the collection, appreciation, and research activities on the stamps and other philatelic products. More than just stamp collecting or the study of the postage, it is also possible to be a philatelist without owning a big uh, number of stamps. So what is philatelic? Stamps are collected for many of the reasons, especially the especially for enjoyment, for relaxation. <coughs> Almost 60 million collectors in the world today are collecting the stamps. Theme collections like birds, just now I'm going to talk now. Geographical <coughs> facts, some topical facts, Historical, personal, like Queen's uh, Times, presidents of the US Times, scientists, authors, on economic levels, and also uh, like planes collection, railway engines collection, force collection, like that. Even stamp on the stamp, it is also a different thing. In looking back into the history, uh, in 1774, John Burke, from Ireland was the first collector. He assembled the existing embossed revenue stamps. On the postage time, the first record is from 1840, just now I told you. When this hobby was started, it, thousands of people started collecting the stamp, but it started in 1860. Adelaide UC Fenton, the first female stamp collector, first to adopt the scientific approach to the philately, John Edward Gray, who was a zoologist and a stamp collector, the first to state that philately as an important hobby and will be upcoming uh, hobby in the world. It was in 1862. On 13, 13th of October, 1854, the first Indian postage stamp was uh, dissipated or was released. Hence, the to commemorate its, um, I think, century or 100 years, the National Philately Day from India only uh, was uh, started, the government started or postal department started to celebrate this National Philately Day on 13th of October. The world oldest philatelic society is the Royal Philatelic Society, of, of course, from the UK or London. It, uh, it was founded in 10th April, 1869. The International Philatelic Federation in Greece founded in 1926, now later on recognized as World Philatelic Federation. <clears throat> so this is general philately, but philately and birds, they are made for each other, to my <clears throat> knowledge and to my uh, opinion, that they are made for each other. Postage times are not just for sending love letters. They are themselves the letters of the love, thumb-sized windows of exploring the world, and what will happen if you add a colorful, wonderful birds to the stamps that will form king of hobbies? What is the, what birds on the stamp says to us? What birds on the stamp tell us? What birds on the stamp indicators? They take us to the different colorful uh, world. They tell us about message of flying beauties, that is knowledge and love. They will tell us message of biodiversity, that is natural heritage. They give us message of endemism, that is rarity of the birds. 
they give us message of nationality that is pride to a country just like a peacock to india or state <clears throat> they give us message of life cycles and their habitats they give us message of peace especially pigeon post they give us message of conservations they tribute they give us tribute to the ornithologists great great ornithologists ornithologists in the world and also they do celebrate the events like philately exhibitions and other thing especially birds i will i am i was uh, i witness of one of the uh, this event i will tell you later on the whole world new new world created on a small colorful piece of paper that is bordered on stamp and this is the most popular theme in the stamps uh, stamp collection in 1875 a series of three birds stamps was released from japan in 1869 united states has had the first bird on, on spot depicting an eagle and after almost 100 years united kingdom was the nation who was had had published or uh, released the first stamp of birds so far till today to my knowledge 30000 plus stamps are depicting uh, depicting the birds or 3500 species in the world there are 10000 plus species of the birds still many more birds species are coming uh, are dues to be on bird some stamps chris gibbins whose collection of over 12000 stamps portrays about 3000 species organization that cover in this field are american tropical association and the bird stamp society we will come to the list of the countries with maximum birds on stamps number 1 is sierra leone is a small country in the uh, western africa and uh, it was a british colonial country sierra leone had 1093 birds on stamps coming to the india only 124 124 stamps so far till today of birds on india especially from indian subcontinent also and world over also worldwide also guinea mozambique togo guinea basu are all these african or some indonesian countries they are all having beautiful birds on their uh, in their habitats also in their country so they are obviously reflected on the stamps about birding in india india is home to beautiful highly endemic vulnerable endangered species of birds there are almost 13% of avian beauty that is 13 1339 species of birds in india existing in india recently last week only i had been to sikkim and i found one bird which was added to the new species of indian list of birds that is uh, that bird was uh, three banded finch i already recorded that bird and that was the new addition to the species birds on stamps in india about birds in india i already talked now i will talk on birds on stamps in india no stamps in pre independence era that is 19 before 1947 of birds on stamps in india in 1954 the first bird series on indian stamp was celebrating the centenary of the stamp first stamp was released but it was not solely bird on the stamp in 1966 uh, you know all baldin or children's day there is pigeon on the stamp was released in 1967 along in the memory of the acharya nandlal bose the eagle stamp was released but the solely dedicated birds on the stamps of the first time in india was released uh, with the conservation message in 1968 there is all strong uh, all the uh, timeline i just mention it you can very well go through it because of the time lag i will not tell <clears throat> all the points of the my powerpoint show firstly we will come across to the birds on the stamps especially about migrations migration is a uh, very well uh, proved scientific uh, life event in the among the few bird species of the uh, all over world and amazing that is a very amazing even many of the uh, mysteries are still unknown to the world of ornithology about migration of the bird i in the 2012 i was at nagaland 
especially at uh, Doyang River is there and Doyang Dam is there. And there is, in October, they are used to collection of 10 lakh, 1 million falcon birds, that is called an Amur falcon. And they start getting migrating from Siberia. They come via China, uh, Thailand, Cambodia, and they turn especially on the eastern side, uh, western side, and they come to India, especially in Manipur and Nagala. And where they stay for one month. This is a journey of almost 3,500 kilometers. They stop there, they stop over for one month. They increase their weight by 750 gram, one kg, one kilo, by eating the locust, uh, locusts from uh, dense forests of Nagaland and Manipur. And they again fly from that point and across the Bay of Bengal and Bangladesh, nonstop they fly for nine days to Eastern Africa, especially uh, Somalia, Ethiopia, and Kenya. There are seven, a big seven of there, and they stay there and stop by stop, they go to the tip of the South Africa. That was not showing in this migrating uh, slide, but I was eyewitness when they released, the government of India released 30 birds, Amur falcons, with tag on their leaves, uh, on their legs, and uh, transmitters on their uh, neck. And this whole migration study was done uh, for the next three, four years after 2012. A big man, a IFS officer, Mr. Loka Raju, was uh, chief conservator of Nagaland at that time. And with this efforts, Nagaland now is the capital of Abur Falcon. Special release of first day cover uh, was there. And this is the first day cover with the birds on the stamp from India <clears throat> of, uh, regarding Amur Falcon. Migration, you know very well, especially in our part of Western India and North Karnataka, there is a rosy pastor, so rosy starling. There are uh, bird on uh, Indian stamp, this is rosy starling or uh, that is called a rosy pastor. And thousands, not you know, thousands, in lakhs of uh, birds aggregate uh, every evening over the water bodies, large water bodies of the Maharashtra, uh, Gujarat, and Karnataka. And it is a heavenly dance we can visualize there. And that also the stamp tells us about that, this world. Migration, again, there are so many storms from India also and from uh, world over also. It is a very big topic of migration, especially the stamps of migrating birds. <clears throat> this is again a uh, first day issue of uh, ducks, white-winged ducks. They used to uh, migrate from uh, Europe to uh, Sikkim and uh, Arunachal Pradesh and Bhutan. Now we'll see about the habitats, various habitats over the stamps. Stamps represent, do represent the habitats for their conservation, these habitats for uh, general knowledge also. There are so many habitats. There are almost 36 habitats world over, especially Birds habitats are six to eight habitats, wetland habitats, swamps, mountain habitat, especially for the peasants, grassland habitats, they are very rich in birds, forest habitat, marine habitat, and desert habitat. <clears throat> this is a stamp from Vermont of the state of US, United States, <clears throat> making people aware about the conservation of these habitats. When you conserve the habitat, you will, uh, you will conserve the uh, birds, animals and even fish also, especially uh, algae also. Uh, here during this uh, this talk also, Mr. Anil Mahajan from Hatnur, which I visited there, it is also a wetland, a large wetland of birds in Maharashtra. And the various habitat, the Bangladesh uh, stamp is there, which is depositing the how the human being and other uh, human related activities disturb the habitats of the uh, birds and animals. <clears throat> These are again the various habitats, the stamps from the US saving, uh, showing us save habitats, wetland habitats, save grassland habitat, like thing. depositing this, even save mountain habitats also. About this Ramsar, what is Ramsar? Ramsar is a place in a town, a small town in Iran. In 1977, there was a gathering there of ornithologists Almost 140 uh, countries were representing the, this uh, Ramsar uh, convention. And in that 
convention, it was decided to make the efforts and aware, make the world aware to conserve the habitat also, especially wetland habitat. And the uh, their criteria of recognition, recognizing these habitats was made, and that is called as Ramsar uh, sites all over the world. So far, there are 2,331 sites in the world were recognized and uh, embossed by Ramsar as a world wet, uh, world wetland sites. India is also having a rich in wetlands, and so far 43 Ramsar sites are recognized by Ramsar Convention. So these are the various times we show is showing the Ramsar habitats. Now, till today, 160 contracting parties to the convention with 2,331 uh, uh, wetland sites, and they are com uh, compromising 16,18,000 square meter uh, kilometers area, designated as Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance. So these are various uh, Ramsar stamps on the uh, of the birds and uh, wetlands. Now these we will come to the uh, biophilately or some endangered study of endangered species of the birds on stands. These are the various hornbills we can see. Hornbill is the endangered species. There are almost 16 to 18 uh, hornbills used to find in the Indian subcontinent, especially in India. Uh, apart from the um, Northeast India, there are five main species of the hornbills, which are all are endangered. And in, in Northeast India, there are still, we can add a six more species of the uh, hornbills. Some, these are the birds which are uh, also endangered and just a minute. Huh? Uh, again, this uh, first uh, pigeon is a Nicobar pigeon. As the uh, <clears throat> Uh, human activities in on Nicobar Island is increasing. This pigeon is also number of these pigeons are decreasing. <clears throat> Coming to the next slide, uh, endangered species all over the world is vulture. Vultures are endangered because of human activities, especially uh, use of the diclofenac drug and use of the DDT as a pesticide. These are all uh, drugs or these chemicals used to be on over the plants. The plants are eaten by the uh, grazing animals and grazing animals are uh, by uh, some uh, prey or some raptors like birds. So these, these poisons in the, these uh, or these uh, plants and these uh, grazing animals they, that is not poisonous to that animal, but that is depo getting deposited in the, their muscles. And the muscles of the dead animals are eaten by the vultures all over the world. They are the Swachata Duth of the world. So these poisonous elements, which are eaten by the vultures through the flesh of the, uh, these grazing animals, is also, are not all, at all harmful to the vultures also but they get deposited on the eggs of the vultures. And these eggs, the shell of the egg become fragile. When the female of the vultures sit, used to sit in the nest over these eggs, they used to rupture. And the next generation of vulture is almost nil. So these vultures came to from 100% during 70s decade, 70s, 1970s to 0.01% in 90s. This because of extensive use of diclofenac and extensive job use of DDT. So all over the world, this Save the Vultures campaign over the stamp, all over the world, almost 100 plus countries, there are vultures on the stamps. <clears throat> uh, coming to the, again, extinct species over the stamps, especially the parrots from Australia, parents from Mauritius, they are almost uh, last few pairs are remaining now. India is also uh, had made first appearance of uh, near extinct birds uh, on the stamps 
Now coming to the various national birds, which are representing over the stamps. India, as all of you are aware about the peacock, it is our national bird. Uh, Mayura Sun in, uh, is very famous since uh, our Rugvedas. When I visited Peru, this is a bird that is called as cock of the rock. That is a national bird of Peru. And I also, I cited that bird also. I collected stamps also. Very, very beautiful bird, especially the color of the head and chest and neck is very beautiful. <clears throat> the, you, will be, you will get surprised that Bhutan is a country at the footsteps and uh, uh, in the Himalayas having a beautiful collection of birds on the stamps. Very beautiful, very colorful birds. But the national bird of the Bhutan, to your surprise, is a crow. Is a crow, type of crow that is called as a ravan. Ravan is a crow with some moustache. Uh, some hairs or the at the base of the uh, beak and uh, this raven is a national bird of Bhutan. <clears throat> to the religious point of also view point of view also uh, <clears throat> the national bird of uh, Bhutan is the raven. National birds of uh, few of the countries I am just depositing there here showing you <clears throat> now. Since last 10 to 15 years, the state birds of uh, various states in the India, they are also depositing over the stamps. Karnataka, Orissa, and Telangana is having a uh, Indian ruler as a state bird. Maharashtra is having a, uh, there is no stamp of, from India on the Haryal, but Haryal or green pigeon, yellow footed green pigeon is a uh, state bird of Maharashtra. <coughs> state bird of USA, there is a, this. Uh, I am having this uh, sheet only almost 50 birds and 50 states of USA. Nowadays, last 10 years, to make people aware, to make people pride of the bird existing in their district, few of the district ornithological society in Maharashtra, they started recognizing a bird uh, of that district only. So we had a Sindhudurga district in Maharashtra, uh, the um, uh, bird is uh, this uh, Malbara Trogon, a very beautiful bird, very beautiful bird. And there uh, was voting for this bird. Uh, the rival was uh, Hornbill, Great White Hornbill. And the uh, bird uh, won, the, this bird has won as a, and labeled now as a Sindhu, bird of Sindhu Durga. So this also practice, we can start to conserve the birds also. The stamps are the um, popular way make aware, make people aware about the birds, ornithology and different aspects of conservation also. The philatelic bird, one and definitely it is an eagle. It is an eagle. It is a symbol of courage. The eagle is a symbol of confidence, strength and royalty. Many of the countries, many of the countries is having a state bird, national bird as eagle, different types of eagle. There are 100 plus types of eagles, various eagles in all over the world and stamp salt. That is called as bird of philatelic, that is a philatelic bird. <clears throat> Even Alexander or Napoleon, they are great warriors of the world and they are also having proud of eagle because they are, they are also representing the courage and uh, uh, this uh, confidence and strength of uh, in, in human society also, in human history also. Now we'll see about life cycles on the stamps. Few of the countries have deposited the birds on stamps of the life cycles of birds. This, this is a gray, black heron, stati, slaty heron from Botswana. Very beautiful stamps. These are, just now I told you that Sierra Leone is a country having thousand birds on stamps, thousand stamps of birds. And especially they're very good collection. They're, I think their economy, economy of few countries, especially Bhutan, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, Lesotho, like countries, they are depending on the, even uh, publishing, they have started publishing the stamps, various stamps. And uh, this philatelic collection, commemorative stamps, they help, help them uh, for their building their economy also. So this Sierra Leone, this life cycle we can see on the, their uh, first day cover or information sheet. This is a kingfisher or bird of prey that is bald eagle is there. Flying beauties, various flying beauties. This is a paradise flycatcher. Paradise flycatcher, very beautiful bird in the world that according to the Salim Ali, great ornithologist from India, birdman of India, 
the paradise flycatcher indian paradise flycatcher is the most beautiful dancing bird in the indian subcontinent various paradise flycatchers we can see in africa also in north east also <clears throat> especially these are paradise birds of paradise we can see over the stamps of papua new guinea indonesia because papua new guinea and uh, new guinea they are having almost 30 plus birds of paradise existing still existing there on their uh, in their forest <clears throat> i am going to visit that right now Uh, the fastest bird regarding the fastest birds they are also having some representation over the stamps this is a peregrine falcon or shahi falcon or amur falcon they are all depositing over, over the stamps of various countries this is the bird especially uh, not from india but this is the bird which is having uh, maximum stamps maximum birds of stamps or one species that is called that is owl owl is worshiped almost all over the world even though it is ashubha in india in some state but in west bengal or bangladesh it is very shub it is a, a vahan of lakshmi goddess lakshmi and the stamps on the uh, many countries are having stamps of the owls on uh, owls over the uh, the over their stamps so this is a photo of barn owl and my ornithological study my ornithological contribution started also from this bird barn owl is very common in our area and in 2007 i think so i got a, i received a call from one of the, my patient that their home the, his home is having very foul smell smell and uh, when i went there i visited the barn owl nesting was there in their attic and there are seven six to seven i think uh, eggs were there and few of the uh, few of the um, uh, their barn owls uh, chicks also there and when i told them they were assuming that these are the eagle but when i tell them this is owl then they say no 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 you must remove it we removed through the all the chicks from that area but from the attic we requested the uh, that family that don't disturb the your balcony we will put them in the balcony only and we studied their whole life cycle for the next 16 nights and the paper along under the guidance of dr satish pande from pune he is a great ornithologist and great doctor also so <clears throat> we studied their 16 night study that was presented in the uh, many of the conferences also in ornithology ornithology society so this barn owl is this stamp is showing one rat in its mouth our study inference was one pair of barn owl the male used to bring seven to eight rats during one night and female used to bring 10 to 15 rats during one night and they used to feed their kids so you can you imagine how many rats are going are you uh, used to get killed from one pair of uh barn owl during their life cycle so to make the balance of the society the bird plays very very important role so this is the first study of the barn owl all over the world which was conducted at our place satara <clears throat> so i just have told you the maximum frequent bird most frequent bird deposited on the stamps is nothing but the owl there are so many all the continents except antarctica there are owls <clears throat> and they are also representing over the stamps the most graceful bird on the stamp is nothing but a swan mute swan especially black swan mute swan very nice just like flamingo there even it is bigger than flamingo and in indian india record is only frequent visits from mute swan from europe or siberia to the india especially 
high lakes, high altitude lakes from Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, and Aruna Bhutan also. Heaviest flying bird on the stand is nothing but a Maldok in Marathi or Great Indian Buster. The tallest bird on the stand is you know, speak from Africa. Hello, Vartak sir, some cross link is there. Hello. Ah, sir, sir, continue. Somebody. Shall I start my? Shall I? Yeah, keep... yeah, yeah, sir, continue. Yeah. The bird on currency, as a currency on the stand. This is a bird. I visited when I visited the Amazon, Amazon forest in Peru. I saw this bird. I saw this bird. I photographed this bird. This bird is called as Quetzal. And Quetzal is a currency of Guatemala. Quetzal is a bird of uh, name of the bird, very beautiful bird. And its feathers were used to by their local tribal people as a currency. And nowadays, there is a paper currency of Guatemala is also called as Quetzal, just like our rupees, Indian rupees, or bath in Thailand, <coughs> so, Seoul in uh, Peru. The currency, name of the currency is the Quetzal, that is the name of the world. And also, that is also representing uh, over the stamps. Some mythological birds on the stamps. Mythological birds, our Puran Purusha, jo bolte hai, there's Puran Purushan, a Purana Pakshi also there. There is Turul, Turul bird over the, uh, especially Mag Magyar coast. Phoenix in Panchadantra, there is a Panchadantra bird. You see this African uh, uh, stamp. See this bird. Especially it is arising from the flame. Prehistorian bird. Their birds were existing, but now they are not existing. They were existing during the dinosaur, that is called as Archaeopteryx. These birds are also getting placed over the stamps. Very Archaeopteryx, types of the Archaeopteryx over these stamps. Birds as a symbol of friendship. You will surprise that many of the countries have deposited or have released first day cover stamps of birds to <coughs> uh, represent as a symbol of their friendship. Bharat. India and Papua New Guinea. Just like I just now I told you that birds of paradise from uh, Papua New Guinea. This is a bird and this is a, our national bird. So these stamps are released by India also and these stamps are released by Papua New Guinea also. Same bird re were respected from each country and they represent the uh, friendship also. All weather <coughs> great, great emperor of migration is nothing due to a very small bird. Few centimeter bird is swallow. And that is also having a special uh, place over the stamps of may, many of the countries. Uh, some newer species also do, also do represent of the stamps. This is a Bugun Lochikla. Bugun Lochikla is a uh, type of uh, warbler, small babbler. And uh, we there is a first day cover and information sheet, sheet, sheet released by Arunachal Pradesh for, on the Eagle Nest Sanctuary. I was there in 2000, uh, I think 13 or uh, 2012 and 13 to see this bird. This is a bird, a very small bird, but colorful bird, which was released on the stamps in 2012 to commemorate the very first few species of the bird in India after 110 years. In 1890, British Ornithological Societies have registered the birds, list of the birds, the checklist of the birds from Indian subcontinent. And after that, during the 100 years, no, not a single new species was uh, recognized. Now, the, with the work of BNHS, Bombay Natural History Society, and uh, Raman Athreya from Pune, Iser, with the help of these, the Eagle Nest Sanctuary was established, was founded, and this forest in the uh, north of the North Arunachal Pradesh, this new species was found. And 
immediately the postage from arunachal pradesh postage the government of uh, india also they have released this bird stamp also and the first day cover also and information sheet also see these are birds of paradise for the stamps especially from africa papua new guinea <clears throat> very beautiful birds very beautiful birds now we'll come to the symbol of peace that is pigeon over the stamp that is a trademark of peace pigeon is nothing but a trademark of peace all over the world and that do represent over the stamp why not that stamps are the represent of the world day to day <clears throat> uh, happening also so you concentrate on this bird this bird also tell us a different story this is the stamp from australia showing one banana chip in the in, in its beak a white pigeon showing banana chip what it tells it is not just a photo of seagull not pigeon it is seagull but it is a stamp serve as a ambassador to the world what it tells it is the earliest message to the racism this is a photo taken by one black photo of black person or uh, so called negro in australia this is the earliest message to the racism it assure reassuring that we also now broadcast the images from australia approachability and self confidence images of approachability and self confidence that this is australia this is australia says this stamp go on go on give this give us a chip bludging at the beach what could be more australian than that so this also the stamps do represent not only friendship not only trademark of peace but they are ambassadors to the world <clears throat> showing different messages this message was on racism pigeon post you know even though postage stamp started from 18 1840 since 1840 since 1146 ad that is in 11th century by khalif of baghdad pigeon post was started stamps were not there but pigeon were used for stamp and uh, for taking the message from one place to other india has got many of the stamps on the pigeon but <clears throat> still our military especially navy see this post this stamp navy is having pigeon post indian navy us navy many of the navies are having their Uh, still having pigeon post. Now coming to this uh, first day cover. This is a first day cover representing few birds. Great horn owl is here and uh, Brahmani shelduck is here. But this message is for conservation of caste plateau, which is pride of Satara. It is pride of Maharashtra. It is pride of India. World Heritage Site established by <coughs> recognized by UNESCO in 2012. And <coughs> when mahapex in 2012 was held in pune this uh, first day cover was released few are the interesting stamps we come to that that gold plated stamp the gold plated stamp was released in hawaii in 1982 showing few ducks or the stamps now this is again a um, mystical bird but still existing i saw this bird in peruvian amazon this is called as hoid zin Hoid zin is a bird which is the only existing species over last sixty million years. Apart from few insects or cockroaches, this is the species of the birds which is existing like same only, no evolution in that over last six crore years or sixty million years. This is a, a, a bird which represent dinosaur and. dinosaur uh, yuga and this uh, current uh, kariyuga so this bird a very different bird these are hang knuckles over the stamps and knuckles over the feathers and <clears throat> it uh, represents the uh, dinosaur uh, bird i visited and i saw this i photographed this in my book also there are so many photographs of these birds called as poet zin that is <clears throat> now we will come to the penguins i think Uh, you will uh, in the recent future we will see this arctic penguins on the birds a lecture from our one of the our stalwart here who is li also listening this uh, my slide show also so this is the most one of the less frequent bird that depicted on the stamps <clears throat> now i'll come to the errors of the birds on the stamps 
you know a philately is a hobby when any error from the stamp makers or governments that increases the value that increases the richness of the philately philately also so this is the border of stamp from india what it represent there are so many mistakes there are six mistakes in these stamps first mistake is rupees 2 it is a stamp which is having rupees 1 but it is a few of the sheets were again taken back but they were, they, uh, they were depositing as rupees 2 then there is color mixing also there and most com most uh, common uh, most uh, important mistake is the name of this bird this bird is a a spray that is machli mar but by mistake of the government or post department there shahin kohila it was written here and this was also when they came to know that this mistake the stamps were taken back and now if anybody is having this stamp i am not having but anybody is having this stamp that is at least cost now uh, 20 million rupees i think so. this see this bird from <coughs> united states uh, guatemala this is a printed a reverse bird printed on this stamp in crores it the price is in crores this bird this is a errors are of different kinds this is a perforation error or this this is a perforation error again color mixing is also there see this double printing is also there of kingfishers see this uh, lack of color on this bird that is from japan this is a again a bird from pakistan having uh, printing mistake this name has come uh, out of this uh, perforations now we'll come to the great ornithologist on the stamps first <clears throat> is nothing but a uh, great great salim ali the first day cover sir also there when he died there also <clears throat> first day cover was uh, released in memory of salim ali there are many ornithologists from all over the world uh, like uh, hooker or this audubon or gold this is gold uh, sunbird you must be aware but john gold there are so many ornithologists over the stand but the most frequent conservationist ornithologist evolutionist is nothing but none other than charles darwin i visited galapagos islands to see the uh, beauty of the birds there beauty of the uh, tortoise there and there are so many collection i am also having many collections of first day covers from darwin or charles darwin <clears throat> see many of the country almost 100 plus countries had next to mahatma gandhi i think so this is the popular person over the stamps especially galapagos birds on the stamps these are the beaks different beaks same species but sub species is different and that is identified the their uh, by their shape of the beak and shape of the beak was evolved because of the different food available on the different islands of galapagos why galapagos only because the galapagos are the newest land over the world just few lakhs years ago and it is so much isolated from any of the continent that it is almost 1000 mile away from the south america so no not single land animal can reach there birds can migrating birds can go there but <clears throat> these birds evolution and animal evolution we can very well see over the galapagos islands and the the best observation done by visits from charles darwin in 1830s when he or the hms bigal he visited there by completing all over his india survey all over the world survey he completed and at the end he came to the galapagos he sent few specimens of the birds and tortoise to the royal society of the uh, uk or england and when he returned from there john gold and few ornithologists from royal society called him that you have brought few of the bird species which are new to the world and then the all he went through the uh, 
uh, his record documentation and he had clicked the theory of evolution after this uh, observation of these birds. So great organizer of the storm. This is a John Gold who also uh, worked in India, also Northeast India. These are the uh, John Golds. In the memory of the John Golds, these are the birds are there. His this bird, this uh, sunbird is from John uh, Bhutan and India. That is Mrs. Gold's sunbird. It is called as see this bird, Mrs. Gold sunbird. <clears throat> Now we'll come to the Guinness and Limca Bull of World Records. <clears throat> I am not serious philatelist, but when I, for this making of this slideshow, when I came across the uh, Google or Wikipedia, I came to know about these uh, two persons. This Jin Fabio from China, he is having a largest collection of 14,558 stamps of birds on this country. He's a great mountaineer. And he is a marathon uh, runner also. 100 plus marathon of 42 kilometers has completed. And I am trying to contact him on uh, social media. But he is having 332 different postal countries of the birds on the stacks. About India, there is a Limca Bulldog world uh, record. He is having a Daniel Monterio from Urupi, a South India, uh, Karnataka, a small place in uh, Karnataka. Mr. Daniel is having 5,000 stamps. In, I think, 2018, I think so. But 5,000 stamps over the birds, especially ducks. He's the largest collection of 1,000 stamps over the ducks. So, <clears throat> these are the world record holders. There are <clears throat> few books also I'm having on the Indian birds of, uh, Indian birds of stamps. Uh, some booklets are also there. References to this, my slideshow are already I'd given. I mentioned here. I will not go through it. <clears throat> so friends, thank you very much for listening me and giving me the opportunity to uh, make a, a one hour talk over this uh, topic. <clears throat> a beautiful birds, beautiful birds on stamps, beautiful stamps. This is a king of hobby and hobby of the kings also. Very much thank you. This expand your knowledge of the history, geography, science, animals, plant, birds, civilization. Through the study of the stamps, Virateli is the king of the hobbies. Thank you very much. Again, I must say thanks to the organizers also. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It was a very informative as well as very interesting presentation. And you have covered yeah. different aspects of this thing, collection, which can be useful for many people also. Yeah. So how you can use this bird's collection in different ways. So that was a very nice thing what you have shown. Any questions? Ajit Bhattakji, I want to ask a question. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. See, I, uh, first of all, congratulations for an excellent presentation, Sandeep Sotji. I was really amazed at the errors which you have shown of one rupee and two rupee. Uh, I don't know which year it was released. And that's a brilliant thing. There are so many things you have shown. In fact, I am really amazed. To be frank with you, even though I'm a philatelist, I never looked at that, but then you have shown, in fact, a Peru is an area which is I'm quite fond of because a phenomena like El Nino, El Nino happens actually in the area of uh, Peru, it's actually of direct of interest over monsoon, so many things. So, but then, and that so many stamps, uh, really amazing, really amazing that such as this one. And as you correctly said, Sierra Leone has actually 1000 plus stamps and India, unfortunately, only 125. The story holds good for anything, including Antarctica, which I meant <laughs> later, but then, this is a sad state of affairs. What you said is true. Maybe we should have had more and more, maybe the Department of Forest or the Forest Services Institute and maybe various institutions. And if I hope if some of the Department of Post are listening to this talk or whatever, this is actually a printed ex exposition. Congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other question? Hello. Huh. Uh, good evening, all. Uh, myself is Vishal Owa, and I would like to ask one question. Is that, uh, sir, what is the procedure to get um, this post stamp printing of our desired thing? If I want to print a uh, uh, stamp on fish, so what could be the procedure? If uh, that could be get cleared now, so that will be better for us. 
रमेश कुमार सर रामू श्रीवास्तव ियल Okay, we have been trying on Mario Di Miranda, for example, from Goa. But then getting a stamp printed is a very costly affair. It takes a couple of years, even if you start processing, etc. So it is not so straightforward unless you are from the Department of Post. It takes n number. I should I should not say n number of years, but the, my stamp actually reduces and the special cover. As uh, uh, Sandeep, uh, Dr. Sandeep has correctly shown, you can have a special cover, and Ramu can actually add on to it. Ramu has actually so much of experience. Nice, <laughs> sir. when it comes to the individual commemorative stamp it requires 3 years proposal the yeah. entire process takes about 3 years and if the individual is ready to sponsor the stamp for example generally the number of stamps is going to get printed is around 0.4 million that's around 4 lakh stamps he should be able to sponsor the entire amount then the file will be put up from the local postal circle to the hq and it has its own sweet time and if it gets through for example uh, about few years back we did it for indian institute of science crystallography department oh the is. department shelled out around 20 lakh rupees and the entire stock is lying with them even today unsold <laughs> so yeah so, I, in fact what you said is so i was just trying to get that mario de maranda stamp they asked me to get at least 1 lakh 1 lakh stamp so it cost about 5 lakh that is what actually dr sudeep jack who was ssp of here he told me what mm-hmm. is it oh but 20 lakhs for 5 rupees stamp is actually too much it's no, no, no. <laughs> they spent 20 lakhs for the crystallography which is a 20 rupees stamp oh it is a 20 rupees if it's 5 lakh it is 5 lakh correct okay okay guys got it got it right yes thank you so much sir thank you so much any other question just to no, add my two is, bits is, sir on the ninth the bird of prey actually a uh, bird of prey error uh, as uh, dr saab said uh, it is one of the expensive uh, stamps but uh, it is not that expensive it is uh, uh, in the recent times it was sold around uh, say about 3000 pounds with the certification because there are lot of forgeries which are available in that one rupee stamp in the similar 1991 series of bird of prey series where there is a 6 rupee stamp which also has an error so there are there are two uh, errors in the same series so both are around the same price range around 3 to 4000 pounds per stamp with the certification but this my point was error increases your value correct sir correct sir correct sir <laughs> no doubt no doubt <laughs> yesterday to add a bit uh, yesterday day before yesterday uh, uh, spink had a sale and the uh, india's inverted head was sold for about 60000 pounds around 60 lakh rupees baap re baap re good good <laughs> <laughs> my friend is having world's greatest collection of mahatma gandhi stamp stamps and coins also very good uh, from why he is from why dr miraskar he is having a uh, error stamp of mahatma gandhi of uh, uh, that In 1940, religion 1948 with mark of service there. Ah, oh, it's not an error, sir. It is the service. Yeah, it's exactly. Which is again it one of the expensive ones. You brought it back. It was taken back, and it is very rare. Ah, oh, sir. Ah, oh, sir. Very rare. It is cross. It is in cross, sir. Don't worry. Cross. Parrot body will be. Ah, wow. Yes, big parrot body. Yeah. Any, any question? Any such? Ramani sir, anything you would like to say? Nothing, nothing worth it. The only thing is, I enjoyed the talk a lot. It was good. Uh, I mean, you know, you had a lot of bird stamps which he has uh, put, and uh, he talked a lot about various aspects about birds, especially migration, birds of prey, but, you know, the various things. Uh, I only wish. I mean, of course, it, it is only a desire for me. that he had also added some you know aspects about uh, the classification of birds or whatever this we had added that it would have been very nice i thought so that would have okay. been a very good thing to talk about you know in talk of talking about the various uh, you know 
you know, classification of birds and what 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 kind of uh, you know uh, birds have come out on on stamps, uh, you know that that kind of a thing. Of course, he did tell a, a, a great deal about how owls have come out. More more number of owls have uh, come out on on stamps yeah. and various other things. I think it was a, it was an excellent talk, giving an overall view of the various aspects that have been represented on stamps, especially birds on stamps. I think it was a very good thank talk. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is the first time I am delivering a lecture <laughs> yeah, on the... No, no problem, sir. Absolutely no sir, problem. It was really I, I wonderful understand. one, sir. <laughs> wonderful. It was really yeah. very good. It was very I, good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I am only, I am only no. trying to give you a, a no, suggestion. I will, yes. Now I will look seriously to my hobby. Correct. <laughs> correct. 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 You know, see, the thing is actually, uh, I mean, you know, all aspects you covered, you covered a lot of aspects about various uh, uh, things. Only thing is, you know, if, if you can add some educational thing into it, it might uh, be of interest to people who study birds. That That is my only, it's only a suggestion. I mean, it's only a suggestion. Don't take it that it was, a, it was anything against your presentation, please. <laughs> Basically, in 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, Till the caste plateau has got uh, recognition as a world heritage site, we used to have programs in the schools. And I used Correct. to ask the uh, questions to the students that how bird help us, how flower help us, how, what pollinates them. And when the uh, all questions uh, were answered, maximum question answered from the students, I used to give them a, a folder of a stamp of birds. <laughs> That's why collectors started collecting them. So, yeah, that is, that is a very nice way of, you know, trying to encourage them to start philately or start uh, stamp collection. I think that that is a really wonderful, uh, you know. You should you take, take your things to BNHS, sir. You should take your thing to BNHS. Yeah, yeah. I already, I already met Raju, Raju, Raju uh, Kasambe also. Yeah, because uh, that will be good because you should make it as a mobile thing. You should make it as a mobile thing where you can enthuse because birds are such a beautiful thing. You take it as yeah. a mobile because you have everything done, readily available. Make it, yeah. maybe you can take the help of Ramu or maybe Ajit Vartakji or whatever, at least some schools or whatever, it will be a highly educative medium, both on birds as well as in philately. That will be a great service. And you are a, you speak so well, your communication is too good. Thank you. We should put to good use, sir. We, Dr. We, Sam, we, 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 Dr. Sam, one thing, what, what is the total number of uh, different stamps you, you have in your collection, you were saying, in the beginning? I have not measured. I have not measured. But yeah. I am having almost 700 uh, plus sheets of 10 plus stamps uh, birds. And I am having 1000 plus sheets of different stamps. I used to give to uh, students as a gift. <laughs> no, I think, it's, sir, we'd, we'd like to visit your place and we'll get some stamps from you. <laughs> 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 All philatelists will start coming to Satara. <laughs> You are donating stamps. <laughs> no. But you must answer my questions on birds. <laughs> we <will> try. <laughs> no, no problem. Any other question? Yeah. Uh, this is Dr. Bernard. Hello. Oh. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. That was a nice lecture. I mean, nice presentation. Very knowledgeable lot of information which we, we could gather. I just wanted to ask a, a question, simple question about the dodo stem. I think Mauritius has shown this. Uh, yeah. uh, whether you have a, these stems. Yeah. Yeah, extinct. Dodo stem, I, 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 I showed out. Dodo? Yeah, it is extinct, extinct. Dodo is extinct. Extinct. Already extinct. It is extinct. Yeah. But uh, Mauritius has showed a stem. Do you have it in your collection? I, I showed, I showed. Dodo okay, is okay, still there. Okay, because I didn't see it. Yeah. I think maximum stamps on Dodo yes. are issued by Mauritius only. Yeah. Maximum stamps on Dodo. Mauritius, yes. Yes. Seychelles, uh -huh. Madagascar. Okay. They all were having, and also this uh, I'll, Falkland Islands. They are okay. having Dodos. Okay, okay. They are having, still they are having stamps of uh, dodos. Thank you. Yeah. I think now there, there is no question. 
first, I would like to thank Dr. Shroti for taking uh, time for giving this presentation. Wonderful presentation on birds on stamps. Uh, next month, we have a lecture on the same series, that is a philately series, on 4th Saturday, that is on 23rd July. We have a talk by Dr. Ramesh Kumar, who is present here also, on a philatelic journey to Antarctica. So next month, we have Dr. Ramesh Kumar from Goa. He is an ex-NIO person, scientist. He will be talking about a philatelic journey to Antarctica. At the same time, 6 p.m. next month, 4th Saturday. Uh, now, other programs for this month we have uh, on 2nd of July, we have a lecture in Marathi, but that will be in Marathi. And that will be about uh, Dr. Shirisagar. He's a very famous work who has worked a lot on honeybees. So he'll be talking about his books written in Marathi. So that uh, program will be there on 2nd uh, of July, same time. And link and everything will be provided to you. If you have any suggestion on this thing, you can write us to us on missiondevrai at gmail.com. I think with this, we'll conclude today's session. Thank you very much. Ramu sir, Ramani sir, Ramesh Kumar, Ramu, all sir, those Ramu, non philatelists they have joined today. It was nice all of you to be here. Thank you. Next thank time you. also, thank we you. like all. We thoroughly enjoyed. We thoroughly enjoyed, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank because you, sir. Because people only were enjoying mm. because you can give us very good suggestions, comments, because you are working in this field for a very long time. So, Ramu sir, for the first time you have joined sir, today. Because don't Ramani, come sir. Sir, sir. I'm Ramu only, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard sir is also there. Thank you very much, Bernard sir. So yeah, yeah. all philatelists, thanks yeah, thank you for supporting this activity. And I think we'll conclude today's session with this. And thank you again, Srotri sir, for joining us this lecture. Thank you. 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 Thank you.